official guy reviews here with you one more time. I don't normally do this. Obviously, my last review, we took a look at the uh, Note 10 Plus. Um, I did want to take a little bit of a second to make one quick notation regarding Samsung. I want to give them some huge props for one particular detail. So there's a lot of tap to pay, Apple Pay, taking over the world, get rid of your wallet, have confidence you can go in. I've never been able to do it. I don't know, maybe it's my upbringing, walking through and maybe having troubles paying for something when you go through to pay for something. The idea of having just this as my single payment method, uh, phone of any kind, scares me. Um, that being said, uh, I've had too many times with the my previous OnePlus, with Pixel, anything Google Pay, where I'm a little concerned, what if it doesn't work? I have to have my wallet on me. I can't get rid of my wallet. I don't like the idea of the big fat wallet case. So I can't get rid of it. So what do I do? Well, this is one of the first times, and the crazy thing is Samsung has had this ability for a long time, and I feel like they don't tout it near enough. So Samsung Pay is super clean. The one thing I will say is Samsung Pay is complete garbage as far as the app itself goes, because you literally have ads in it, which is ridiculous. I've spent God knows how much money on your devices, and then I'm having an ad on, on Samsung Pay, which is crazy to me, because I'm sure the analytics and everything go your way anyways. So you're probably selling that. Regardless, I don't like the layout of the, the actual app itself. However, the one little point of note for you to be aware of is with Samsung Pay, it actually uses the magnetic strip of the tap to pay. So if you walk into a place that has tap to pay and it's your usual NFC communication and everything, uh, it works the same as anything else. Your Google Pay, your, it, it taps it. There's no difference. The one thing that will blow people's minds is even if the tap isn't working, even if they don't have tap and you tap your Samsung device, it will still work, which is mind blowing. I don't know how many times I've walked in like a true tech nerd wanting to tout my technology and literally been told, oh, we don't have tap. Meanwhile, my phone is beeping. It says approved and it literally blows the person's mind. They're like, I, I can't believe, like they're looking at the device like they don't understand something. And it is a feature that's really helped me with the idea of maybe I can leave some extra cards or the wallet behind or just bring my driver's license or whatever, uh, which has been nice. It's, it's again, a lot of first world features that it's like, cool, whatever, man. But like at the end of the day to know and get rid of that anxiety of like, is it going to fail to pay? And I'm going to drive through and now I got four people behind me like, oh crap, I got to find change or whatever, especially in such a cashless society where we're headed. I don't typically have that cash on me. So at the end of the day, it's a feature that I specifically wanted to make its own video for. Um, I don't like tossing up just random videos and, and not a full review, but I think on the heels of the Samsung Note 10 Plus review, I know I had a few rougher things to say about it here and there, but I got to give it props. That has been a crazy good feature. You add your card just like you would Google Pay or Apple Pay. You tap. It will run off the magnetic strip and you're good to go. doesn't have to have the NFC communication as far as the actual the, the device receiving the payment. If their tap is down, oh, it's not working, it still goes. It's, it's unbelievable. And now you will get the odd time. Like, for example, I go to a Walmart. If you do self-checkout, uh, when you do tap, you will get the odd time where the person ha comes and you have to sign, which is like a little annoying. But at the end of the day, I mean, we always used to have to do that anyways. Um, so... A little feature, I know it's nothing huge, but I know that Samsung's marketing for some reason does not talk about it near enough. And I feel like you guys got to be aware if you're not, because it is one of those little features that could put you over the edge. If you're debating something of a device and everything's like it's down to the wire, oh, everything's so close, the, the battery life's so close, the power's so close, the screens are so close. Maybe that's a feature for you that you're sitting there going, you know what, I really just wish I could untether the wallet. I don't want that clunky thing around anymore. I want to strip it way down to almost nothing. This might be the feature for you that really sets it apart because it is one that I didn't even fully understand. I opened Samsung Pay. I mean, I've you know used the devices forever. I've used multiple Samsungs over the years and they've literally had this capability for years. And it's not in any of their advertising. So I know they mentioned Samsung Pay, but they don't mention that specific magnetic strip style feature where even if they don't have to have to pay, it works. So if you guys have any comments on it or questions, I mean, I know my understanding of it is ingenious and I, I'm just telling you of my anecdotal experience with it. It's, it's really helped me to realize that 
I don't have to worry so much and maybe I can just bring my phone. I mean, I still have moments where I'll bring an alternative method to pay just because it's, I feel like part of my brain, I can't help it, but I feel like maybe that'll help some of you out. So thanks again for dropping by. I appreciate it. We're going to be putting out some more content soon. Again, we're going to be looking forward to the OnePlus 8 Pro. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments, just yeah, leave them down below. I'm happy to answer back. Thanks so much for your time. Take care.